Hello everyone, welcome back to TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. Now today guys, we are doing something totally different. As I said to you at the end of 2020, that we will be doing some new challenges here on Championship Manager 0102, only at TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. <laughs> now just before I do so guys, I just want each and every one of you just to remember obviously that, obviously if you do like a video, please smash like on a video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And of course, make sure you do hit that notification bell as well. So you are informed of when the video has been uploaded on our channel. <clears throat> also, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, all of the social media outlets that we do use here at TGR, that's Game and Robo. So obviously we've got Facebook, obviously YouTube, Twitter, as well as Tumblr as well. Now, as I mentioned to you guys before, the new challenges that we've got here today, the first one that we are doing, if any of you can remember, it says you can't win anything with kids. If you remember Alan Hansen saying that to uh, to Manchester United manager Sir Alex Bergson, but that was when obviously they got rid of uh, Mark Hughes, uh, Paul Lintz and Andre Kinchelskis, if I remember Steve Bruce as well. So obviously the class of 92 came into the team and... Um, Obviously, they had a they had a, 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 a really poor start to the season, losing three one to Aston Villa at Villa Park, if I recall. So this is what we're going to do. This is season one, episode one of you can't win anything with kids. So as you can see down there, the rules are as follows: I can only play players of twenty one years of age or under. Now, if they start the season at twenty one, and let's say April or March, they are uh, they turn twenty two. I can still use them only until the end of that season. Now, I've got to keep going doing this challenge until I win the league, preferably the cup and double, you know, the league cup and double, because that's what Sir Alex Bergson did anyway. And lastly, the last rule is I can sign anyone who I want as long as they are under the age of 21. Well, guys, this is it. This is the uh, you can't win anything with kids. Uh, season premiere episode one so let's start the show let's start it right now so guys we started the season this is this is the under 21 squads that we've got at this moment in time and as you can see all the players that you know obviously i can't use to get rid of the temptation of using I've put them on the transfer list, obviously, try and generate more money. So, uh, so obviously, we can bring in some more under-21 talent. Okay, guys. So, we're going to skip a little bit ahead just to get some of the transfers through. And then we're going to get straight on to the, uh, to the charity shield. We'll, get, we'll set up the tactics together. And then we'll go through the actual gameplay step by step. Okay, guys. So, here's the next lot of transfers that's just come through. Let's come into the team. Hopefully, some's left the team. And here's the Charity Shield lineup now. So, guys, this is the team at the moment. I'll show you the transfers that have come out first of all. So, Lauren Blanc gone, Nicky Butt, Bartes, Clegg, Irwin, Neville, Beckham, Sol Silvestre, Skulls, May, Keane, and Johnson have left the team. Total of £68 million pounds that we've, we've brought in. And the players that we've managed to actually bring in using that money Samba, Pinero, Kerr. Paver, Pruton, Kalstrom and Cy Galco. We still need a lot of work doing to this team at the moment. As you can see, this is the starting line up the formation that we're doing. So 4 one 2 one 2 Going by, obviously, the players that we've got at the moment, this is probably the best formation for me to use at this moment in time. So Pruton, O'Shea, Brown, Tierney, Stewart, Kalstrom and Kerr, Chadwick with Samba and Cy Galco up the top. So I'm not going to do their numbers. It could just be randomised. So here we go. So here's the first game of the You Can't Win Anything With Kids season. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, the, there's still a long way to go. Still a long way to go with this uh, with this team. Um, we need to bring in a lot more quality young under-21 players uh, to this side. But... You know, we uh, I've accepted a challenge, so uh, I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to see what we can do. Mark Kerr's injured on his debut. 
So Darren Fletcher's come on for Kerr, which, uh, which is a big blow. <sighs> McAllister of all people. 2-0, come on. 2-0 down against Liverpool. Paper's coming on for Samba. We can't be losing the charity shield. I mean, I know it's, it's you know, it's not a, a, a cup to be proud of. Come on, Saigalco. But we can't, we can't start the season on a big loss. Saigalco, Toto, Toto, Toto. Come on, Saigalco. It's gone all quiet at the moment, but uh, um, I'm not going to make any subs. We're going to stick to the team as it is, and we've gone to penalties. So, Zygalko can have the fourth penalty. Paver can have the second. I'm happy with Chadwick and Kalstrom and Stewart taking their penalties as well. So, here we go. It's one. Oh, Liverpool's equalised. Paver, come on, boy. McAllister, stop him. Well done, Chadwick. Bombie misses. Zygalko, come on. Oh, Stewart. Yes. 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 Yes, we beat Liverpool with our young team. And look at that, they they did play a lot better than us, let's be honest. Let's be honest, they played a hell of a lot better than us. Mark Kerr's out for a month. Dear God. Okay, guys, so we're going to skip on to the next, uh, the next game. Hopefully, we might be able to bring in some more people into the team. So you'll see momentarily. So, guys, it's the first league game of the season. A couple of players have been brought in. So we've managed to bring in Titus Bramble to try and bolster up our central defence. And Sebastian Johansson. Uh, we got him from IFK Gothenburg. Once again, trying to bolster up the midfield. And obviously, with Mark Kerr being injured as well, it's an extra bonus to have another midfielder. The only player... Uh, that will be leaving very, very shortly, um, will be Phil Neville. He will be joining Ipswich Town and uh, Ruud van Nistelrooy will be joining Palmer as well. So we're just going to set up this team here. So Johansson's going to have to start. Um, we'll give John O'Shea a rest from the last game. But all in all, it's going to be near enough the same starting lineup. We'll just tell John O'Shea that he's going to be using the squad rotation. But yeah, so this is it. Autumn auto their numbers. So here we go. So we start our first game of the season at Old Trafford. So can we do what we are setting up to do is to win the league, preferably the cup double, but Wes Brown 1-0. Come on, boyo. Middlesbrough want 15 million for Julio Arca, which I am quite tempted for. I know it's going to be a one season buy, but someone is going to massively improve my left back situation oh no boxic 1-1 one, one. how paver is coming on for cherno samba we can't we need to be winning we need to be winning i know we've got a a really good young team but they're inexperienced still but we need their current ability isn't that great at this moment but oh come on come on oh my days we're gonna we're gonna falter at the first league game of the season down Fletcher's come on Saigalco 2-1 2-1 thanks to Saigalco the legend is still alive on this game. 2-1 victory winners over Middlesbrough. <sighs> Relatively close game, let's be honest. Let's see the league table after the first game. So Leicester City are top. Who's bottom? Oh, Liverpool bottom. Who did they lose to? Liverpool lost at home to Chelsea. <sighs> So we're going to go skip to the next game, guys, and then we'll see if we can bring in anyone else in to help bolster our team. So, guys, it's our second league game of the season, and we are playing Ipswich Town. The latest person to join our 
young revolution team is Michael Dunwell. I know it's going to be a one season buy, of course, because he'll turn 22 and obviously he'll be 22 for the next season if we don't do it this season. So it's a one season buy, but hopefully with his goals with Cy Galco, we'll be able to generate a lot more goals, potentially bring in a lot more points. So Rude Van Nistrooy has left and Phil Neville has left. I'm not really trying to push the the fees higher purely because just trying to get rid of them so I don't have that um, that feeling that I want to play them, obviously. So we're going to do a little bit of a chopping change here. So we're going to start John O'Shea instead of Wes Brown at centre-back. We'll keep Bramble, Tierney and Pruton in defence. And uh, we're going to keep Johansson in with... Who is the other midfielder that we've got playing in? Kim Kalstrom with Chadwick in the attacking center, uh, in the attacking forward role, and then we're going to have Dunwell and Cy Galco starting up front uh, for this game. So once again, all to the team. David Pruden's the captain. Okay, so second game of the season, we're away to Ipswich. Let's see if we can have another. Good victory with these young players we have playing for us here today. Already, I'm starting to feel a little bit of the uh, pressure because I don't think the team is uh, is that strong still at this moment in time. Oh, come on. The Ipswich looks like they're doing a lot better than we are at the moment. Come on. Yes, Michael Stewart. 1-0. Come on, Stewart. Good start, good start now. We don't want to be uh, slacking back United. Come on. Oh. Bars offside. Thank God. Thank God. All right, bringing on a sub. Darren Fletcher, you can come on for. We'll bring you on for Chadwick and then put Calstrom up there. So start of the second half, Darren Fletcher has come on for Luke Chadwick with Kim Kalstrom uh, going up in the attacking midfield role. Just see whether or not if uh, if we can hold on to this victory. Or, oh, Magilton, he's old. Why are we letting an old prick scoring against us? Come on, Hugo. Too late to make any changes now after my little rant. We're gonna we're gonna draw this, aren't we? Ugh. We dropped two points in this game. We dropped two points. I don't care it says shots and goal, they they've had more than us more than us. We dropped two points in this game. Pass is completed. Piss poor. Tackles won, piss poor, headers won, piss poor. Don't care. We have dropped two points in this game. We're in fourth place. And they're 16th because of that draw as well. Who have we got in our group? Ajax, Dortmund and Sparta, Prague. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. We're going to go on to the next game, guys. We're not going to mess around in between because we've still got a fair few bits of transfers still coming through. So we'll come back momentarily. So the next game, we are at home to Blackburn Rovers. Uh, Wes Brown's going to start... Uh, up uh, in defence with Titus Bramble once again. Mark Kerr still injured, so we're still going to keep with the Johansson and Kim Kalstrom partnership at this moment in time. I am half tempted to play another striker as an attacking midfielder instead of Luke Chadwick. But uh, no, we're going to stick it as it is. We're going to stick it as it is. So the third game at home. Old Trafford, and it's 1 0 already. Bjorn B scores an own goal. You're meant to be scoring the opposite end, Bjorn B, but it doesn't matter. I'll take any own goal any day of the week if it helps us to actually win the title, maybe even win a cup tournament as well. Oh, God. Why? Why? Why are we letting in stupid goals? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, it's another own goal. <laughs> I prefer to be like to my strikers to actually score a goal, but um, never mind. But, I mean, let's look at Safir. I mean, Pruton, you're not doing any tackles, mate. Come on. 
you need to watch out or Lee Roche will be coming in for your place. We will be doing a substitute. Bring in Paver. We've done well. He's not doing nothing. Not doing nothing. Neither is Saigalco, let's be honest. Oh, come on. We need we need a we need a victory here today, Man U. Come on. Bring on another substitute. Bojan Jordix coming on for Chadwick. We've got one more substitute left. I will be looking to... Oh, it's a penalty kick! Penalty! I'll bring Roche on for Bramble. He's doing piss poor with five rating. Who's my penalty taker? Psychoco! 3-1. Three, Three points in the bag for Manchester United and these young ragabunds. 3-1. Well done, boys. Well done. Once again, I mean, we're still not we're still not good at winning the tackles or even the headers. Okay, it looks a bit 50-50. Pass is completed. We're getting better. We're getting better. Right, we're going to skip over to the next game, guys. So hopefully we'll be, there might be some more transfer involvement. So you'll see in a few secs. So, guys, we've got one new introduction to our team. That is Julio Arca. He's joined Manchester United for a fee of 15.25 million. So we did actually bring in Shane Tully as well, but he is in the reserves. I've bought him, obviously, as a future product, just in case if we don't manage to do it within the first couple of seasons. Uh, people have left our team, Ronnie Woolwork and Nick Colkin. So all in all, we've actually brought in £85 million for not even you know, trying to fish for more money and spent £36 million as well. Now, have a, um, Harry Paver is slightly injured, so we're going to put Chano Samba in on the subs bench. Sticking with the same team, apart from obviously Julio Arca is starting at left back instead of Tierney. Now, this is Julio Arca's debut and he's against his old club, Sunderland. He can't really write that, can you? But this is going to be the last game of the first episode, guys. Now, Sunderland usually are a bit of a bogey team for me. Now, because I've taken Julio Arco away from them for 15 and a quarter million pounds, hopefully they haven't managed to use that money yet. Titus Bramble, 1-0. Well done, Titus. Well done, boy. So uh, it's 1-0. Good start by us. We are looking to hopefully get uh, another three points and then keep pushing for the top of the table. And it looks like hopefully we'll be able to keep this 1-0 lead up until half time. So we brought on Cherno Samba for Luke Chadwick. I'm going to try him as an attacking midfielder to see whether or not if we can generate uh, any more goals uh, for this uh, for this side. But I mean, at this moment in time, it's a bit 50-50. Even though we're winning 1-0, it doesn't feel like that we've, we're out of the woods just yet. Feels like that Sunderland could do something. Done well! He scores! Finally, his first goal! Of the season. Oh, Quinn. Oh, see, this is what I mean. We're not out of the woods just yet. Hopefully, we can hold. No! Niall Quinn. He comes. Oh, no. No. I'm disgusted. Disgusted. So, we're finishing this episode with a draw. Two wins and two draws. Scored eight, conceded five. That's, that's piss poor. Absolutely piss poor. We need to be doing something totally different so we're able to actually try and win the League and Cup within the first season. So, guys, the end of the first episode of You Can't Win Anything With Kids. As you can see already, we are third in the league with two wins and two draws. Now, the last game when we played against Sunderland, that should have been a win. But I had a feeling, for some God knows reason, I had a feeling that we were going to drop the points. Um, I mean, I didn't know if it was going to be a draw or, or we would get defeated. But I had a feeling that Sunderland were going to come back. And they did. That's the most annoying thing. And Niall Quinn. The only people scoring against our team at the moment is these old boys. They need to pack up and go home and bloody retire, for crying out loud. But anyway, guys. 
You Can't Win With Kids, episode one, has come to an end. We will look to try and progress in episode two to see whether or not we can go further and better than what we have done here today. Now, just remember, guys, if you did like the video, please make sure that you smash a like on the video. If you are new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. And of course, you need to make sure you hit that notification bell as well. So you know exactly when the latest video has been uploaded here at TGR. That's Game and Robbo. Apart from that, guys, thanks very much for your time. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at the second episode of the You Can't Win Anything With Kids here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.